Okay, in this video, let's just start from scratch and we'll create a quick text animation. I'll tell you about some shortcuts and some various techniques along the way. So here we are with just a fresh new uh, copy of Kinetic Text Animator, just opened it up. Um, everything is kind of just like it is when we start off. So first thing I do is I go ahead and adjust the state size, just zoom it. It's still a 1280 by 720, but now it's not overlapping things. I've got the font browser here. This can be opened and closed with the uh, toggle command F or c control F on a PC. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn that off for a second because the very first thing I need is really some text. I've got my text animations over here, but I need something to work with. So I can, of course, copy and paste from maybe a script or something like that, but I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and use our built-in quotes. And you can open that by clicking on this. We also have a keyboard shortcut, a shift Q to open that up and toggle it open and closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for funny. And I'll just go ahead and find a quote here and I'll copy it. I'm gonna do command C. If I control click here, I can you can see the standard options. I'm gonna con uh, I went ahead and copied that and I'm gonna go over here to glitch pitch um, and I'll just paste that in now I can go ahead and uh, click but it's gonna tell me if I click right now it'll warn me it'll say you know what you need a font oops okay so uh, let's go ahead and get a font it, it, it kindly opened up the font browser for me so I'll just do a quick little search for chunk 5 one of my favorite fonts here double click on that and then I have something to work with. So now I have the text and a font. Now I can click on it and get an animation. But now it uh, doesn't look so good. It's white uh, on top of white. So I wanna change that color. So let's go ahead and maybe do blue. And that green's a little close to blue. So maybe I'll make the color something like, uh, maybe a lighter green. So that way it's a little bit different. And so let's try that. And that looks a little bit better. So. Um, I would probably tweak it some more, but uh, we'll, we'll call that good for now. I have a grid over here, and what I wanna do, it's a little close to the edge, so I'm just gonna drag a space so it's gonna center in this area instead of the entire stage, and I can click Animate it again, and there I go. I can toggle the grid off by Command-G or Control-G so uh, as well, and um, let's zoom out here, and we'll finish this video talking about uh, what I can do with this on the timeline. Now, um, I have just this one, um, block here right now and I can move it around on the timeline let's say I had some audio and I was trying to time it to the beginning of that audio or something like that if I uh, don't like that it's almost 10 seconds long let's say I want it to be seven seconds I can just uh, hover over either end but on the right hand side it's a little bit easier to time it to the timeline to seven seconds so I'm going to go ahead and do it on the right hand side and just click and drag and I just, it's important to note that I haven't trimmed this. I've actually just shrunk it. I've, I have the entire animation already still there. So if we have a, a enter animation and exit animation, it's going to still be there. It's just gonna all be sped up if I've, I've, I've moved it to the left and it's gonna slow down if I've if I expanded over here to the right. So this overall animation is just gonna be slower. I still have that, the full, uh, all the details of the animation still are in there. Now, if I drag to the left and the right on a video or an audio, I'm gonna be trimming it, but this is a little bit different. So um, that gets you started here with text animations. We can click on the plus button to start and do a new one, but we'll look at that in other videos. I just wanted to get you going on how to do the basics and understand some of the shortcuts for uh, creating your text animations. I'm gonna, I can go ahead and delete this block and we're ready for the next stage in creating some animations in Kinetic Text Animator.